join me today as I teach you my favorite trick to spot morel mushrooms. This simple technique will change the way you hunt, especially if you walk a lot and don't find much. You'll find more using this trick. Howdy shroomers. Today I'm going to teach you a lesson of critical importance when you're looking for morel mushrooms. It's called stop, drop, and focus. When you're walking like this here, you can walk right by morel mushrooms. Okay? But if you come back and you stop and you drop and you focus, they come into view. Let's try this a few more times with my little model here. Sharpen up your eyes. Where are they at? Where are they at? I am just walking around. I better stop, drop, and really focus. You see them? Your brain focuses better when it's not moving. These are easy ones where they're sticking out. You just wait till they're partially covered in leaves. You will have an impossible time seeing morels if you're walking. This is one of my favorite Elmy spots too. Oh yeah. I'm walking. Stop. Drop. Focus. Yeah. Ching. That. Stopping. Dropping. Focusing. Ah. Sometimes. You can only see bits of them after you've passed them. This way, you can't see them at all hardly. They're growing in the plants. Yeah. Where are they at? Stop. Drop. Oh. SDF, stop, drop, focus. Practice this. I'm walking along. I, I better stop. Drop, focus. I don't know why I can't find any morels. Where are they at? Stop, drop. Oh yeah. Where are they at? Stop, drop. Oh yeah. Focus. 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 How many times I have my spin in before you can see them? Or what if I just stop and drop a little? I'm dizzy. <laughs> now these critters are up in the open. Most times leaves are covering most of them. You just can see a small corner of the pattern. Here's a clip of me seeing the pattern. And I was standing still, and it was hard. Hiking out, and my eyes caught the pattern. Do you see it? Do you see the pattern? And it was just very small to see. And my eyes caught it. And then revealed a delightful gray mushroom. 
So yeah, this is phase one to teach yourself how to see morels in the wild. Snow makes it way easier than when it's green out. Well, where are they? Where are they at? Stopping. Dropping. Focus. Wish these were real. I'm walking around, looking around. Better stop. Focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy here. Okay. This here is Apiosporina morbosa. It is Esco Ascomycetes fungi. And it parasitizes the Prunus genus. Plum trees, cherry trees can make big cankers on the sides of the trees fooling people into thinking it's chaga but oh guess what the prunus genus has cyanide glycosides not only in the pits of its stone fruit but leaves and bark too so you don't want to make that mistake this is just one way it attacks on twigs it looks like cat poop right you see that does not hurt to stop, drop, and focus by the elm trees. Happy hunting, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you learned something. You know more progression maps are coming. You know me.